Hi everyone, this is Dion Norman from ict for .com, and today we're going to look at sharing photos and videos directly from your iPad up to the web, which can be quite tricky when you're using your iPads with several students or several different classes. I found that this uh, particular app that we're going to look at today, it's called Web Albums HD for Picasa. Um, it'll cost you $3.99 on the App Store. Um, I found that this app is actually quite good because it allows you to upload both photos and videos and you can upload multiple at the same time which which saves you time and uh, you can also add captions which is great for children because if they're creating content then they can reflect on it or describe what they've learned directly in the caption with the photo. Okay, so once you have the app installed you just go ahead and open it and you'll need to sign in either with your Picasa web account or Facebook account. Uh, for today's lesson, we're going to focus on the Picasa web account. Um, it is important that before you try to do this, that you do create a Picasa account and set it up. Otherwise, if it's not been verified or set up, it'll tell you that you have an invalid username or password. Okay, so I've gone ahead and I've created an account for my blog uh, email address. So I'm going to go ahead and log in. Okay, so once you've logged in, I've already went ahead and created a, an album here called Sample. I'll, I'll show you how to do that again. So, but generally, you'll just be taken to a blank screen at the beginning, unless, unless you've already got content created. So to create a new album, what you need to do is you just click the little plus button up here, and then you just give it a title. So since I've already created one called Sample, I'll just call it Sample 2. And now you can choose how you want to share your albums. You can either make them public, private, or anyone with the link. Um, I prefer the second option uh, just because that makes it easy to share the albums, but it also keeps them somewhat private since you'd need the link in order to find it. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and click Done here. Okay, now it's created my album for me, so I'm just going to click on the album itself to open it up. Of course, there's no content in it as of yet. So the next step you'll need is to upload some media. So I'm just going to go ahead to my camera roll. So as you can see when you click on them it'll just put a little check mark. Okay, so I'm just going to upload to save time I'll just upload two here. Once you've found the things that you want to upload just go ahead and click on upload. And then uh, what it'll do is it'll bring up a screen to ask you to put a caption. So as I said before, this is great because if you if students are creating work, um, they may want to reflect on what it is they've done. So this is a great space for that. Okay, so we have the first one and the second one's been uploaded. Okay. Now, I if students are uploading content here, it is important that the students label their albums um, very very clearly so I would suggest that they label the albums with their name as well as the content if you like for example you may even consider using these as portfolio pieces you could create an album for each student in your class with their name on it and then the students could go ahead and just keep adding content throughout the year now if for any reason you find that you don't want to keep this album or you've made a mistake um, if you click the little I button at the top It'll show you some information, okay? And you can go ahead and delete it if you wish, so you don't have to keep the album. But once once you have your album, now you're gonna want to to share it probably. So if you click the little up arrow button, you have the choice to either email it, uh, you can copy it, or you can open it in Safari. Now, if you want to. You may want to email that album link to a parent or to a student. Um, in the case of if you want to make a QR code, for example, you can just copy the album link and then go ahead and open up a QR generator, which which I'll show you in another tutorial how to do that. Um, but then you can, yeah, you can share it. And if you like to open on the web, just open in Safari. So basically, that's all you need to do to get started with sharing content with photos and videos into Picasa. I hope this helps you. Thank you.